All right, I got the camera on. Uh, Shalom. We out here on the highways and byways once again. All praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles, elders at Great Millstone. And we just finna, you know, just hit some scriptures. See if we can teach some of these people. Is that possible? <laughs> How you get that one scripture? Uh, I just missed the spirit you jumped on me. Uh, Romans 10 and uh, uh, like Romans 10 and 9. So yeah, so pretty, pretty much that's how you get saved. You got to call on the name of the Lord. And the Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. The Most High's name is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai. The Lord's name is not Jesus, okay? The Father's name is not Jehovah. All right, keep His going. name is Jesus Christ. It's, it's Yahweh Shai. It's not His name, bro. And read that again. Romans 10 and 9. And this is like one of the most important things you could possibly know. Go ahead, read it, read that again. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yeah, that's how you get saved. You gotta call on Yahweh Shai. Keep going. For with the heart man believes on righteousness, and with the mouth confesses his name unto salvation. Right, so how do you confess the name of the Lord? By going on the highways and the byways out here on the streets. Right amongst the people. You know what I mean? That's how that's how you confess with your mouth. As is commanded. As is commanded. You know what I mean? We got to come out here, regardless. Go ahead. But the scripture well, there's no difference between the nation. We're a nation of people. We're the Israelites. We're a nation, not a denomination. A denomination. A denomination. I wonder if that's way. I had to look that up. Go ahead. Yeah, let's, let's go on that real quick, man. Because we'll that up. word sounds funny, man. It does. D not D mo D mo D nom it D, D non D right. maybe D right. means from. Yeah. From let's a, check it out though. Yeah. You want me? Uh, I can do my. Oh, phone. you know what? I brought my I brought my Cadillac out today. Oh, the big one. Bro, this is from 1976. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is like one of the rare comic books or something, bro. Look, I was afraid. I couldn't find my blue one. So I, look at this, boy. Y'all ain't got one of them. Y'all got to get one of these. This is the best dictionary. I'll be reading this dictionary for an hour. It tells you that the letter D come from the Hebrew. We don't say. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, man. You were right, saying something about the letter yet. D. Well, he's just saying that had the, uh, this dictionary goes into the Hebrew and stuff. So I'm gonna get hit up on Facebook. That's some annoying shit, bro. I mean, what the fuck is it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Hit you a video chat you all the time. Alright, denomination. Oh, nomination. Okay. Nominal. That's where you get name. Nomen. Nomen means name. So D means from. Nomen means name. Oh, so it doesn't mean nation. So denomination. The act of naming. A name. Designation. The name of a class or a group. Classification. So I guess we do have a denomination. Technically, we're the Israelites. That's our name. The sons of God, right? The sons of the Most High. A class of units having specific values, as in a system of currency or weights, an organized group of religious congregations. Yeah, but he was saying in the sense of Well, yeah, you know, in that. Yeah, yeah, right. Seven day of Because the Lord never said it. None of that's even in the scriptures. You can't find the word uh, Southern Baptist in the scriptures. That's not in there, bro. You got the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. That's in there. <laughs> there hey, that's a good thing, though, because the Lord divided 
Everybody, that reason you got so many denominations is because the Lord say said he did not come to bring peace, he came to bring division. Remember he said he's going to uh, smite the shepherd and the sheep are going to be scattered? Remember that scripture? That was the Lord that did that. It's all part of the Lord's plan. Hey, read the rest of that Romans. Hey, I'm glad I looked that up. You know, now I got a better understanding. Denomination. Yeah, whosoever shall believe on Yahweh Shah shall not be ashamed. So that's why we ain't got no shame. We come out here in old boldness. We ain't afraid to come out here. Go ahead. There's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. Oh, why is there no difference? Why does the scripture say there is no difference between the Jew or the Greek? Because you look that word Greek up, it says, you know, it says Hellenist, right? Which is an Israelite. There's no difference between a Jew or and a Greek in the Bible. Because they're the same people. They're both Israelites. Go ahead. The same Lord was always rich. So all that called upon him. Right. So if you call upon the name of Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the Lord's going to give you those riches. When the riches being the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding. Go ahead. For well, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right. So whoever calls upon the name of Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that, that's how you're going to make it. Go ahead. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Right, so how they gonna call on him? Right, keep, keep going. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Right, keep going. And how shall they hear without a preacher? So how how the people gonna hear without a preacher? And like I seen the elders was going into the word preacher. You know the word preacher comes from the word prophet. The English word preacher go back to the word prophet, the prophet side. We the prophets. We the prophets of old coming back in reincarnation. And that's why the Lord got us out here. We was out on the streets uh, teaching the gospel back during the Roman Empire. We the same people. Some of us probably got fed to the lions, crucified, you know what I'm saying? We got burnt, you know what I'm saying? We got scores of whips. Go ahead. And how shall they preach except they be sent? That's their great Right, right. We preach the gospel of peace, right? And, uh, they bring glad tidings of good things. Right, because if everybody followed these commandments in the Bible and everybody followed the words of the Lord, there'd be peace on earth. There'd be no crime. The, the, everything would be clean. The air would be clean. The water would be clean. The food would be clean. Your woman would be clean. You know what I mean? Everything would be beautiful. If everybody followed these uh, commandments that's in this in this Bible, but that ain't hardly nobody following the commandments in the Bible. That's why everything's polluted. The air's polluted. The water's polluted. The food's polluted. Okay, uh, women are polluted. Everything's all messed up. Go ahead. Your faith polluted. Exactly. Yeah, right. Your faith. Now people don't believe. If they have not all obeyed the gospel of Isaiah. Says, Lord, you have to leave our report. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. Yeah, faith comes by hearing. So that, that's one of the main reasons why we make these videos is to, you know, to lift the brothers up. Because if they keep hearing this word, it gives them faith. You know what I mean? It, it, it comforts their spirit. Go ahead. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, barely. Their sound went into all the earth. Yeah, because the sounds of our uh, our voice goes to the, all the ends of the earth. How? Through the internet. We get on the internet, we publish these videos, and they're going out worldwide. We get laser beam on a satellite system all across the earth. You know what I'm saying? A every country on the planet Earth is watching our videos. And you can, watch, you can look it up on the Google Analytics on YouTube, and you can see how many people in each country is watching your videos. And you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. We got people in the Congo watching our video. I didn't even know they had the internet in the Congo. In the Congo. You know what I mean? Probably on some old ass computers too. <laughs> hey, you'd be surprised though. They probably they might probably have been developing down there. They yeah. yeah, they have been developing down there. Yeah, because plus we at that point now where technology is cheap. You know, you know, those, those microchips are real cheap to make. Huh? That's another reason why they go 
It's gonna be real easy for them to implement that market of beast microchip soon. It's gonna be cheap. The reason they ain't implemented it yet is probably because of cost and stuff like that. You know what I mean? The people ain't ready for it. Plus, it, they couldn't implement that microchip 10 years ago. Why? It was too expensive. That's one of the main reasons. The technology wasn't quite there yet. It's getting there. Hey, you got more than that? There's in their, in their words to the ends of the world. But I said, then Israel know. First Moses says, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people by and by a foolish nation I will anger you. For I says, very bold, he said, I was found of them that sought me not, I was made manifest unto them that act not after me. But to Israel he said, all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. <laughs> and that's what that's what, that's how you know who an Israelite is, bro. They're disobedient. They gain saying and murmur. They always talking shit. They always have a problem with every commandment in the Bible. They despise the scriptures. You know what I mean? Like last week we was out here. They wanted to kill us. We had the whole damn bus stop coming against the building. Even the so-called Bible believers will come against us. And we out here reading Bibles and they'll still hate us. Yeah, Israel's wicked as hell, man. And that's why two-thirds of Israel's gonna be put to death according to the scriptures, according to the Bible. Go ahead. Okay. Hold on, let me go to get this real quick. This is Psalm 19 1. The heavens declare the glory of the most high, and the firmament showeth his handwork. That's why the mentioned in the Oh yeah, the permanent. Yeah, you're for real. Because the most who created that's bugged out right there. Because the Most High had the, the Most High created radio wave. They already out here. Because you know this radiation and all this radio wave. All it was is the Most High put it in the spirit of Nikola Tesla to be able to tap into it. Okay, because you know Nikola. Te if it wasn't for a man uh, named Nikola Tesla. We would have no Wi-Fi, you would have no radio, you would have no television. You wouldn't even have electricity in your house if it was not for Nikola Tesla, right? And he said he got all of his knowledge on how to make all this stuff through visions and dreams. And he was a, he was a Bible believer too. Well, I mean they had to run, but the electricity we have in our house is a alternating current, which was developed by Nikola Tesla. Right. There was two competing forms of electricity. Uh, the Edison electricity, which was direct current, and the alternating current. And, and Nikola Tesla, uh, he, he won that battle. You know what I mean? And Tesla said he could even pull uh, electricity straight out of the sky. Oh, you see, they get, and you can see that's possible because now they got wireless chargers for your phone. You seen that? No. My brother had one. He had his uh, docking station. All he does is just set his phone on this thing. And it charged No wires, no nothing. That's bugged out, ain't it? Right. Let me record into the show. Oh, no, go ahead. Um, and the firmament showeth his hand for Day unto day uttering speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech or language rather than voice that is not heard. Yeah, there's no, because, right. You, you can even get on the internet, too. If you're watching a video that's in another language, them, them, they're over there getting us on camera. Uh, you know, you can hit the closed captions and it will automatically translate everything you say. Damn, for real? Yeah, but sometimes the translations ain't so good. But, but then again, at the same time, most of the world are bilingual. Most, you any videos? For the most part, yeah. Because I've been watching a lot of Russian videos. Right? Yeah. But it, it'd be off though a little bit, but sometimes it's right. They get it close, it's close enough. Cause you know, our translations are probably all fucked up cause we speak so much slang. Yes, he said yes. But you know, most people are bilingual now too. If you go to a third world country, mo most people at the shops and the markets, they all speak English as a second language. You know what I mean? So English is the, the, the dominating language in the world. It's called the, the lingua franca. Those who are talking to the hammer like that uh, Oh yeah. That's usually the people over there, man. Ain't no Americans like that. No, no, there's no bilingual Americans. No. Mexicans? Right, yeah, yeah. 
And you can see why too. Shit, we, we can't even barely speak English right over here. Uh, let alone the second language. <laughs> um, their line is going out to all the earth. Yep, the line is going, this word is this, this, going out throughout the whole earth. Go ahead. And their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and yep. rejoices as a strong man to run a race. Yeah, that's bugged out too, the way the Lord just set the planets and the sun and everything to order. It's like a gigantic machine just set in motion. And it don't stop, it don't break, it just keeps working. Um, his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit, that's bad, circuit. Yeah, circuit. And to the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from heat thereof. Just <laughs> hey, that internet, man, that's some bad shit right there. The internet. You see all that truth coming out now? It's like the mainstream media. They panicking right now because nobody watches cable no more. Everybody's watching YouTube. Everybody get all their news from YouTube now. So now Esau's panicking. All oh, it's like that scripture says in Revelation. About he knows he got a short time. What's that called? Uh, now with great wrath. Wait, they about to come with that wrath now? Because they, they, they can't control the narrative no more. This shit got out of control. He got out of control. His greed caught up to him. Yeah, his greed caught up to him. Go ahead. That's why he was. Uh, that's why he uh, got the internet cell phones. Everybody got a fucking cell phone. And then the internet just get handed over to the United Nations. That's right. So they could be clamping down on this shit soon. So Y'all better be downloading the videos and do what you can. There's no guarantee our channel's gonna be up, you know, next week, tomorrow. Uh, Matthew 24, 13. It says, but he that, uh, 14. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end. Yeah, exactly. That, that never happened before, did it? You know what I'm saying? So we we teaching the gospel to all nations. We, we, uh, this brother's teaching us truth in other countries. We just ain't in America. We got brothers over there in the UK. Alaska. Alaska, uh, Canada, Germany, Jamaica, South America. I mean, it, it, it's... And you don't even know about them either because you can't find all them channels. South America like right on top of the Southern Union. Like, we're young there. Okay. Guy, uh, um, Guy, 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 and, and we don't have to go to the other nations either. I mean, we got the internet. Oh yeah, like the niggas that do the travel and shit. Well, how do you think those brothers in the <laughs> other countries got it though to begin with? Right. They got it from the internet. How do we get? It? I got it from the internet. Yeah. I didn't go to New York. You know what I mean? To listen to the brothers over there teach. Yeah, them niggas just go to other nations and shit from countries, man. They just do that just to see the pen, man. Yeah, it's like, look, I'm just like Paul. You know? Because Paul's alive today. Paul, Paul's on that computer every day. Every day. <laughs> He'd be every on day. there, boy. Working the Lord, yeah. Just putting in work. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Yeah. He's just got to have a uh, bragging rights and shit. That's why they do that shit. Y'all saw the video of the motherfuckers went to Israel, man. And the motherfuckers yeah, made them take off their garments and everything. They was wearing goddamn kippers on their head. Yeah, they made them put them on. They made them put them on. But you ain't gonna get me to wear no kipper. Not to see if it fits. I don't give a shit. Nah, it is not going no... <laughs> That's some heathen shit right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Wearing the scriptures to say to wear little funny little hats. They look stupid, man. They took their garments off. And they went to the Wailing Wall. Hey, hey, get that scripture, uh... The wall ain't even the original wall of David either, man. That's a the covered the head. You know that scripture? Is that Corinthians? Uh, oh, yeah. That 14? Uh, 11, uh, 11, 11, I mean, that's yeah. 11, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, they, they, you know, they, 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 they spiritually wicked anyway. Man. That's why they covered their head. Because they call themselves making a video trying to bring out some kind of truth or something. They got their head covered. <laughs> right, you know right. what I mean? 
<laughs> looking stupid. Yeah, looking stupid, man. That was the spirit of the Lord that made him upload that. Yeah, it sure was. Yeah. Yeah. That's very embarrassing. It is bad. It was terrible. Bro, I'm not going to the land of Israel till it's cleansed. I don't want to set foot in it. Oh, hell no. Hell Biggest fucking gay parade ever is over there and it happens in the fucking so-called land of Israel. The folk are gay. That's supposed to be the chosen people, right? Right. They just had the transsexual uh, beauty pageant. What was it called? The Miss... <laughs> it's like a Miss, Miss Universe. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's Miss right. Universe for trans. They just did that, too. They just did that, you know? Yeah. But that's supposed to be... Oh, hey, they did something else, too. Um, they had a big old thing for tattoos going on over there. People was coming from all over the world to Israel, man. I posted on the internet too, man. They did they doing a big thing with that too. Really? Israel. I'm like what the fuck? So you know they even chose the people, man. Hell no. They're imposters. Everybody know that. Because you always hear these Christians too, they be bringing out, they be like, see? Israel being reestablished as a nation in uh what was that? What year was that? 19 uh 46. Yeah, yeah, right after World War II. Yeah, right. They said that that uh they, they said that fulfilled prophecy. Yeah, right. But where in the scriptures did it say that Israel was going to go back to the promised land, have gay parades, and have a, a Miss Tranny universe? <laughs> How is that fulfilling prophecy at all? Yeah. That don't fulfill no prophecy. It does fulfill prophecy about Esau being a damn devil. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. No, this won't get out of it unless we give it to the internet, man. For real. You know? Cause there's a lot of truth coming out against some fake Jews, bro. There's a lot of people who's starting to wake up to them. Yeah, they even wake up to find out they ain't Yep. Here you go, this is Revelation 12 and 12. He said they even wake up. Hey, they, hey we, we're not years ago, we had that, uh, that dude on camera. And we asked him, he's like, did you know to use an Edomite? He's like, yeah, they, they taught me that in the temple. That's what they told me. He said, that's what they taught me in the temple. He actually said that. Uh, as a Edomite told us that himself. Yeah, there's a video, couple videos of uh, rabbis on the internet saying that they uh, yep. uh, They admit to it. I mean, you just gotta talk to them. They'll tell you. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Go to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So right, so y'all gotta pay attention to this. Lately, shit's getting crazy. Now they start trying to get that nuclear war started with Russia right before the election. That's why a lot of people don't watch. Well, they're not really covering it on the news. The news is all bullshit. You got to get your news from the internet. What, what, they, what they call it? What we, uh, alternative news. Yeah, you got to watch the alternative yeah. news, which has now become the new the mainstream. Main news, yeah, yeah. You got uh, damn Alex Jones. He gets more viewers than any. Uh, he gets more views than Fox News. You know what I mean? Wait, he done took over. Wait, wait, Even though Alex Jones is full of shit when it comes to a lot of stuff, I'd still rather watch him than uh, watch uh, Fox. <laughs> I don't watch no Fox News. I don't watch CNN. I don't watch none of that garbage. I be watching people on YouTube because they, they give you all the juice. They give you all the facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this devil, he knows he got a short time left. So watch, these devils, they're going to start making moves. They're going to start making moves. They know they got a short time left. So that's why they're they going to start more wars. So, so they're going to have more false flag attacks. Don't be surprised if a big terrorist attack, they might go nuclear. The next terror attack in America might be nuclear. You know what I mean? A dirty bomb something. And as soon they gonna start microchipping everybody. Especially with this election coming up. You gotta keep your eyes open. Yeah, they did. Why would uh, they had a wiki WikiLeaks just came out on Hillary Clinton, exposing all kind of shit on this bitch, right? And, and none of the news major uh, news channels on cable, none of them are covering it. So, so the average, 
the average uh, person who still watches cable news, they don't know about all these WikiLeaks coming out on Hillary Clinton because they, they're not covering it. You know what I mean? I know a lot of old people, they, 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 they don't even still know how to use the internet. And they still rely on the TV for their news. And they believe everything it says. That's sad, man. I feel sorry for y'all. That, that's a sad place to be. That's talking about being in darkness, you know what I mean? Because they even tell you, uh, Anderson Cooper, Anderson Cooper, the top one of the top guys on CNN, he even told you that he he was a CIA operative. He works for the CIA. It's the same, same thing with uh, like the uh, 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 actors and actors, like Vince Duke and Joey and Brad Pitt. When they when all the disasters happen, they go over to wherever it happens. And, uh, yep. Uh, Always trying to pretend like they care. Yeah. They're all part of the same uh, secret society. Yep, yeah, for real. They ain't number ages, man. Just like we went after the temple of the Knights of Pythias building. What's that called? This, you know, the on Mount King's Vernon. Complex, right. That on Mount Vernon, King's Art Complex. And they show you in there like all these famous actors and whatever. We're all Freemasons. Danny Glover's a Freemason. Mayor Coleman is a Freemason. So you ain't gonna be successful unless you a Freemason or you part of some kind of secret society and you engage in all kind of witchcraft. And these people, they look up to Mayor Coleman too, don't they? They been a damn mayor for fucking half my life. They knew what they were going to do. Well, he was a mason. Right. He part of the brotherhood. So, you know, he... Right. Exactly. That's why they put him in there. It sure did. Degeneracy right there. No, he just, that just ain't right. I mean, that's just normal now. It's that's normal. normal. You, know, it's funny, you know, our people are all criminals too, right? They love to uh, hit licks, right? How you gonna hit a lick? How you gonna roughing the cop with your pants around their ankles? Right they don't think about that. That's not logic. How you gonna hop that fence with your pants around your ankles? So you gotta have your boots tied up, shit fitting properly. A belt, you know what I mean? You gotta be agile when you out here. You know what's crazy when you gotta tell people to wear clothes to fit them. It's like when that, you were in that movie Caligula, this is like uh, Tiberius' little island right here. You see all these little weird shit popping? Oh, he would have a ball with this. Oh, he would. Oh, he's here though. Yeah, right, right. I wonder who Tiberius is. Tiberius. He, he back in the reincarnation somewhere. And they, I was been reading the history on Tiberius, and they said, and from what I see, that movie Caligula is like deadly accurate. I think the, the Lord was with him when they made that movie. Just so we can see how it was. You know what I mean? Ty is out here. He's one of these mates. He could be Al Gore. He could be a, I don't know, one of these devils. Or one of these presidents, Joe. Yeah. He could have been Ronald Reagan. He looked like. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if you know about that Jessica Tyson that's wearing around that suit's neck, right? Probably not. Oh, you never know, though. Jay should stop him and ask him. Cause Jake be into some weird shit. Oh, there's your boy. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That sound good to Jake, man. Jake will 
sport. Yeah, you really do. Sport. There you go. Hey, go, 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 my man, my man, my man. See? Yeah. I'll just play her then leaves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a like Catholic symbol, so. Is it? Yeah, the Catholics use that. It represents the Trinity. What's the clear? With the, uh, New York, New Orleans Saints. Yeah, that's called the Flair de Lis. It's the Flair de Lis. <laughs> it's supposed to represent the lily, the lily, which represents the Queen of Heaven, actually. And, you know, it, it's got multiple meanings. Like, I see, you see Zavok and then be wearing them. And the box says that represents the six point star, the star, the shield of David. That's what he tried to say. Yeah, it's not in the scriptures. That's why you don't see us coming out here wearing symbols and nothing like that. I mean, this, hey, the scriptures did say that all the Israelites and, uh, you got more to that? I'm going off on the what they call it on the rabbit trail. Let's get back to that. Uh, I was just about to say, because the, 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 the book of Numbers in the second chapter tells you how uh, all the different tribes were supposed to have their own insignia, right? But it don't go into and tell you what they all were. You know what I mean? So we really don't know. We'll know in the kingdom. Go ahead. Got like, like coat of arms. Yeah, we, all that coat of arms go back to Israel. We the ones that started that shit. That's why in a lot of coat of arms, you be seeing that, uh, they call it the Moorish head on a lot of them coat of arms. That's Jake that started that, going way back. Huh. That's your boy. We be seeing him all the time. Most I got him, bro. What's up, homie? We keep running into you, man. I know every time. Oh, man. Last time I feel I'm I should have stopped. Ain't the feeling I'm on. You know what I'm saying? That, that, feel, that feeling of uh, That's your conscience eating your spirit. Because he saw us and he's like, ah, shit, they're going to say something. They're going to say shit to them. Ain't nothing you can tell. We already told you. He just told him right there, he's like, you're going to be destroyed. Yeah, go back to that. Should be like madmen sparing none. Go ahead. Yep. Hey, yeah, I heard. Uh, who was it, man? I see somebody posted something. Out of all people, I seen goddamn Ted Nugent, but he didn't originally post it. But he posted. Somebody uh, seen a shipment of uh, military vehicles being shipped in with the UN posted. Yeah, man. Uh, in the videos, uh, because they try to conceal the UN. Yeah. Too off. Video, yeah, I just seen somebody else po post a story. They said the UN was gonna be the ones that's gonna go to door to door taking everybody's guns. You know they going first. Good luck. Hey, hopefully they start in the outskirts first. <laughs> you know, we're we're really all the ammo is. And man, there's ammo everywhere. Yeah, the preppers and shit. Hey, man, my neighbor left the garage door open um, last Sunday when I was on my way home. Yeah. And uh. Uh, the garage is stopped with everything, man. He just left it open. Didn't even realize, I guess he might have opened it on accident or left it open, man, yeah. or whatever, but it was just stopped with everything. You can just see everything Damn. in his garage. And this is one of them two-car garages, big two-car garage, man. Like, Over there in the hood? Nah, nah, down up north, man. Uh, up north, up north. You didn't move again, did you? Nah, uh, both of them still. Going back and forth. 
because I get tired of, you know, what I got to yeah. do. I get tired of getting, having to get up and I, I, so I said stay down there. But anyway. But you were in that night, we was out there on New Year's Eve, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, up in the hood, well, Fairgate. Right. We were in that right. one night. The and ammo. We, and we, we the heard. Fireworks. We heard what that kind of weaponry they had in the hood. Yeah, yeah, because we was recording. And oh, it was that coming was out crazy. Perfect. Yeah, the sound was coming out perfect. Man. I never, it sounded like World War III. Right. This was in the hood. Yeah. So you don't know who got them, them stockpiles out here. <laughs> you don't know which house got it. You don't know which house got it. That's right. And this is the most heavily armed country on the earth. That's probably personal. I, I think they want to arm this nation yep. so it could be a bloodbath. Probably, yeah, I think you're right. That's what I think. I don't think they, well, you know, they once they come in and start seizing the guns, they start right there. You know? You crazy ass Irish or Scottish motherfuckers, they ain't gonna lie, they ain't with that. <laughs> Some crazy motherfuckers. Hey, let me see the uh, you ain't go up in the uh, West Virginia mountains and get, get them guns. <laughs> Shit, it's already lawlessness in West Virginia. It's always been lawlessness, you know. Uh, West West uh, Virginia, shit. that's that was all West Virginia originally. That was always the place where all the Jakes went to get away from everybody. Yeah, yeah, so to go up there and hide, yeah. you can't find them up in there. They don't go up in the mountains. Cause you know a lot of the uh, the Even so the, look at dude from the campus, man. That's him. Look like Jim Tressels. No, nah, him. Uh, crazy, crazy dude. Oh, that's yeah, your yeah. boy. Uh, yeah, he gonna go start pissing on there. But. Yeah, I hope so. That's your boy. The Legion of Founders, man. Hell yeah. That's my homie right here. Look at your boys. That's my dog. That's my dog. I like you, man. Yeah, for real. I got no stab to say about it. That's. What we got? What we got? What's up? What's up, homie? He got a little refreshment. He really just picked that up and took a drink out of it, bro. Y'all, I couldn't get on camera, but he really did have a trash can to start chugging shit. He don't give a fuck. They could be loogies and everything in there. <laughs> hey, hey, that's America. That's the American dream. Hey, these people do waste a lot of food and stuff. Like, where we, I know a lot of people who are like homeless or whatever. And I talk to them all the time. And they be finding whole sandwiches, bags of groceries. They, they go up there behind a... Uh, Kroger's and going to Kroger's dumpster and come out with damn half the store. <laughs> they be throwing away perfectly good food. <laughs> this were a very wasteful nation. The abuse of plenty. Matt, you see going inside of most people's refrigerators, and their refrigerator be packed full of food, and most of it don't get eaten. They just throw it away, man. Just wasting everything. That's the spirit of America. The spirit of uh, gluttony. The spirit of greed. It, it is, the average person is just greedy as hell. Just a greedy, nasty creature. Oh, this, uh, I think it's called the developed country, where there's like, uh, not much people is being populated, but they use too much shit that they, that they uh, actually need. Cons consumption. Yeah. They call them consumers. Yeah, consumption prices. This is the most wasteful, most greedy country on the earth. It really will. They gonna feel it every bit of that family too. That's all in their mind. You to be in to go to McDonald's, White Castle. You only get them a double cheeseburger with uh, extra bacon on it. It happened. Yep. It happened in ancient Rome. Yep. Yep. And then they started eating people, each other. Yep. It happened to Israel. Eating their babies. Let's, let's one the, let me find one in the Bible with uh, the it woman. Is, the woman. Lord. Was like said to the other woman, let's let us eat your child, then tomorrow we'll eat mine. Oh, let's get that. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll get I'll get that one in Jeremiah. Find it real quick. Yeah, sure. For they shall waste and take away the goods, cast out, yeah. cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known for my chosen. They shall be tried as gold in the fire. Right. So the Lord gonna try you as gold in the fire. So the Lord tries us all the time, you know what I mean? We have we go through all kind of hell, man. Just come out here and do this work. Family comes against you, wife will leave you, you know what I mean? People try to kill you, put weapons on you, throw shit at you, spit on you. That's who gives a fuck. You get purified. Yeah, you get purified by by taking that punishment. It's really easy. Actually, I got a precept for that. That really ain't nothing. What is, the Lord went through way worse than that. I'm gonna show you this. Uh, 
I'm going to show you what the Lord said. Let me get this real quick. This is a Matthew. Oh, man, that's a good scripture right here. I'm going to read that too. Uh, Matthew. I'm going to start at uh, Matthew uh, 11 and 27. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. So you can't get his truth unless the Son reveals it to you. Because he's the only one that knows of the Father. Which proves that Jesus, the one they call Jesus is not God. You got the Most High and you got the Son of the Most High. As it clearly tells you. How? Unlike the lies of the, the church, the church is teaching them the lies. They're all ran by uh, devil workers. Look at this. Matthew 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Y'all talking about like Thanksgiving? Y'all believe in Thanksgiving or something? Okay, so which, what is it about? Let's take, let's take. Okay, which mean? Like, well, really, Thanksgiving's always on Thursday, and Thursday no, actually means Thursday. I've been talking about, no, I ain't talking about today. I'm talking about what he witnessed. I heard John in the streets when I was at the bus stop that day. What did you mean by that? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. What's up, girl? Hey. How the how the food was it was all right here. Yeah. Oh, you talking about swan. Yeah. She's probably talking about swan. I don't know what you're talking about either. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh uh, bro. She got a daughter and shit. We're just going hey, to a. Uh, I don't got it. All I got is my credit card. You got the swipe. You finishing what you're reading? Yeah, I got I'm finished. Good. Well, I, I didn't get to hit the point. Let me read this again. That's I, what I, was saying. I did kind of get interrupted. I wanted to just read this again because we was talking about how 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 we go through a lot of punishment, right? But look what the Lord said. He said, Matthew 11 and 29. He said, "Take my yoke upon you and learn of me." So y'all supposed to learn yeah, of the no, Lord. I, I've seen it. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Look, they don't want that scripture to come out, does it? So, that's the closest you can get. That force to the one <laughs> So the Lord's burden was light. And he he, pointed, he was punished. They beat the hell out of him. Put a crown of thorns on him, crucified him. And he, he still said his burden was light. You know what I mean? So it takes a real man to do this work. It, this, this, doing this work is not for little girls and little, little you know, and little, little faggots. You know what I mean? This is to take. This is the work of a. This is man's work. Real man's work. Hey, check this out. This is Second Kings six and twenty six. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the wall, there cried a woman upon him, saying, "Help, my lord, O king!" And he said, "If the Lord do not help thee." When shall I help thee? Uh, out of the barn floor or out of the wine press? And the king said unto her, What have you done? She answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son, that we may eat him today. Damn. And we will eat my son tomorrow. And where's that at? This is 2 Kings 6. 2 Kings 6. 6 and 28. Six. So we boiled my son and did eat him. This is Israel. And I said I unto her so that was the when next it, day. That's, so that, that's when it was being seized by the Babylonians? Yeah. Yeah. Because they had the whole city surrounded. And they couldn't get no food into the city, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so we boiled my son and did eat him. Damn. And I said unto her the next day, Give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hit her son. <laughs> and it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman. I guess this woman was looking for some uh, 
uh, what you, some judgment, man, after she done fucking committed a, 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 a cannibalism, you know? She probably ate the other son first, then she didn't want to eat her own, right? Well, let me read again. And the, this is 28. Uh, and the king said unto her, What ever thee? And the woman, she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son that we may eat him today, and we will eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and boiled didn't eat him. Him. They boiled him and ate him. So that's because they didn't have no food. So what do you think they're going to do when the EBT gets shut off? And there's no food. There's nothing but concrete out here. There's no gardens. There's no farms. Nowhere near here. You know what I mean? So what are y'all going to eat? The, the only meat is going to be people. But first they're going to eat the cats and dogs. And after all the cats and dogs are gone, well, they're going to eat the pigeons. They're going to eat the squirrels. When they can't find no more squirrels and pigeons, they're going to eat people. Because you know they're too stupid to eat the dandelions. They're too stupid to eat the plantain and the herbs. Because that's going to be there. They're going to prey on the weak, the children. The young, the young weak. You know? Yep. That's what they're going to do. Give thy son that we may eat him. This is just going to be like that movie, The Road. Yep. On that movie, The Road, Man, they, they had a whole cellar full of people, and they would chop a leg off of somebody, keep them alive, eat one leg at a time, come back, get the other one later. That you all gotta watch that movie, The Road. That's what's coming to America. So, and she had hid him, and it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman that he ripped his clothes and he passed by upon the wall. And the people looked, and behold, he was sacrificed with the end upon his flesh. Then he said, Most high, do so more also to me. And the head of Lisa, the son of Shaphat, shall stand on him. Yeah, right. He's going into some house. You got to eat, bro. I went to the store yesterday. I got everything. Did you? <laughs> and see. I got one. Yeah. Which story did you go to? Uh, I'm going to start Jeremiah 19 and uh, How long Chris 5. Say he got they have built also the high places of Baal. <laughs> they have built also the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that this place shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. And I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hands of them that seek their lives. And their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth. And I will make this city desolate and a hissing. Everyone that passeth thereby shall be astonished and hiss because of all the plagues thereof. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat everyone the flesh of his friend in the siege of straightness where of their enemies and they shall seek their lives and shall straighten them. You got them got them stupid ass uh, criminals, man. They 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 plan with you, especially the extremist groups planning for a big uh, uh, uprising, you know, and they think they gonna them and their crew and their crew gonna stick together on tight, you know. Shit don't go as way you do and it never does. nothing they, ever goes the way you plan. Right, right. They gonna turn on each other. Huh? They gonna turn on each other. How many times you see a new one in the hood turn on his pocket? Hey, cool. As soon as you start you're you're facing that person, he turned right on. He turned everybody. Right, like when you get arrested. Right. Everybody's snitching on everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah, that code, that code shit is bullshit. Anything you can do to save your own neck. What they call that G code? That G -code. Ain't no G code. Ain't no such thing. Hell no. No, that's fake. That's, that's movies. That's you're right. Yeah, that's movies. That's fairy tale shit. It's fake ass niggas, man. They ain't nobody got your back out here but the men of the Lord. That's it. Don't the scriptures say never trust thine enemy? They ain't just referring to Esau. No, that's talking about your, your own people. <laughs> the scripture says that your enemies are going to be those of your own house. Yeah, exactly. You know? That's a good point. It's going to be beautiful, man. When people are prepping and they got uh, unlimited ammo and too many guns that they don't need. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's gonna be a bloodfest though. Right? It's gonna be right, it's gonna be a bloodbath. Yeah, because most I can put spirit in their hands, man. Boy, this one's gonna look at me for man. You know. No, no matter how it goes down, it's coming So It's already started with all the riots and all that. Like they said, uh, if we even make it to the elections, there's so there's so many things that can happen with this election. It's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. You know what I mean? You got uh on one hand they said if Trump wins. Uh, you know, the BLMs, they all going to burn down every city. They said that. It came out right. said, we're going to destroy everything. You know, no, you know, no. And then they say that depending on how it goes, that they're going to they gonna say the Russia uh, rigged the election. And then they're just going to have to disregard the election results. And they're going to do what they want. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, the people do not elect the president. America is a republic. It's not a democracy. And a democracy, that's when, the, like the ancient Greeks in the Athens, they had a democracy. Everybody voted. And actually, only, only the elite voted. You know what I mean? But in a republic, a republic is ruled by the rich elite. Like the ancient Roman Republic, that was ran by the... Uh, by all the elite people, all the people that have wealth and money. And that's what it's pretty much the same thing the electoral college is. The Senate. We have a Senate just like the ancient Romans had a Senate. The word Senate is a Roman word. That's where you get the word senior. It means the old man. You know what I'm saying? So America, the people don't, your vote don't count. You know what I mean? Your vote does not count. The electoral college elects the president. Hey, they showed you that in the, what is that, the 2000 election where Bush and Gore was running? You remember when Al Gore won the popular vote against Bush, right? You remember that? I remember that. He won the popular vote, but Bush won the Electoral College vote. Or oh, actually, no, they went to the Supreme Court on that one, didn't they? The Supreme Court elected the president. Actually, if I remember, it was a long time ago. Suddenly, shot shot at some places appear unsown. The full storehouse of shop will suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hears, they shall be suddenly afraid. But at that time, shall friends fight one another against like enemies. <laughs> and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours shall, they shall not run. That's bad. Like I said, man, the spirits, man, they're going to go to work. They're going to get busy in these days in these people's minds. Because that motherfucker's going to remember something that his boy accidentally did or purposely did. And it's supposed to be, it's going to eat at them, man. It's like, I got to fuck this, man. Yeah, they, we up in this bunker. Well, Jake be holding grudges for years. Oh, you know what I mean? It's just the angels going to work on us, man. He's going to work on us. You know? And then, you know, besides that, they're going to have to still have to fight off that wave of uh, uh, evilness that's going to be leaving these cities, man, going out looking for food, man. And then the only people that's going to look after you is the men of the Lord. Right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Because we ain't shady like that. You know what I mean? Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, man. That's going to be crazy. Might, I can't you know, wait. We might, we might flee this city, man, if we uh, <laughs> stumble up on a bunker that's uh, heavily with food and arms. But, you know, we ain't look, we don't, we ain't gonna need no arms, but you know, we might run up on something that's gonna have every more than what you need. Did the most high looks after gonna, you? There's gonna be dead bodies in there because they all killed each other, man. You know, the Lord has a way. <laughs> what they say, the Lord works in mysterious ways. Mysterious ways, well, the most beautiful thing, man. Shut up. When he fed John the Baptist in the wilderness. <laughs> hey, well, the Lord took the, took the loaves of bread. He started splitting the loaves of bread. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. With the two cake, have a cake to their house? Oh, yeah. When they was in the cave. When they was in the cave, he took the, 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 the food. I forget exactly what they was eating. It was, uh, not Elijah. I'm, I'm sorry. I think it was the prophet Obadiah, wasn't it? Didn't Elijah go up in the cave with Obadiah? I remember Obadiah. Was that Obadiah in the cave? Was the Obadiah in the cave? I forget the exact story. Where they all had it was a little them cake. I know what you're talking about. And they though. started splitting the cake. Right. So I, I know what you're talking about. Bro. I can't. Yeah. 
I'm gonna look that up. I can't. It's been a minute since I read that one. Right, right. Yeah, well, I think it was Obadiah, it was. Because it, it was during the time of Jezebel. Right, right. And, uh, and she was, Jezebel killed nearly all the prophets. And all the sudden, some of the prophets didn't get killed, they fled, they hid out in a cave. Uh, first Kings 17 and 1. And Elijah the Tish like Yeah, it's just too loud out here. We need to get up. came up here walking fish and shake his head like we broke. That's alright. That's why he's in darkness and we're in light. So I mean the joke is on you, bro. He said unto Ahab, as Yahweh God of Israel liveth before whom before whom I stand, there shall not be a dew nor heaven these years, but according to my word. And the word of Yahweh came unto him, saying, Be thee hence and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. Have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and they did according unto the word of Yahweh. For he went and dwelt by the brook of Kareth, this that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning. That's bad, man. That's bad. Yeah. That's it, right there. Hey, right hey, there. hey, we ain't got no worries, man. Right, that's linking up to uh to the Exodus. We're in the Exodus. The Israelites was out in the wilderness in the middle of the desert. Ain't nothing grown in the desert. The Lord made man and just come up out to do it. Yeah, the angel was yeah. And, and, and manna in Hebrew means, what is it? <laughs> That's what it means. It's a description tell you that. Hey, they manna means to the full and try to pack some of it too. Oh uh, yeah, and then it, <laughs> then it molded up. Yeah. The Lord told you, you can't save it. You gotta eat it, what I give you. That shows the faith, that goes in the faith. Yeah. You gotta have that faith that he ain't gonna give it to you tomorrow. Yeah. Then the next day. Yeah. Faith. Oh, you know, I got a scripture for that, actually. What's faith? What's faith? What's faith? What's faith? Come on, sisters. What's faith? Let me tell you what faith is. Let me tell you what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. That's the definition of faith. That's why our people have faith, because they got to have something physically in front of them for them to believe in. If it ain't there, they don't believe in it. You can't, you know, be... You can't see your own thoughts. I guess they don't exist. That's right. Let me go into You can't see your own imagination, right? They exist, though. Yeah, yeah, that badass dream. Superpowers. You know that that's real. A lot of times when you had the dreams when you flying and stuff, you're actually. You're out here astral projecting, you know what I'm saying? In the real world, you just don't know it. Yeah, it's bugged out. Don't mean to bug y'all out like that.
come out here and tell people this is a Please, the ass is 12. Uh, Please, the ass is 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. The evil days come not, that means the times is coming for the bad. People start keeping their job, keeping their homes, you know. People start killing each other, you know. Those are some bad times we're going to speak about. Well, too, because a lot of times, too, people don't want to get into the knowledge until they become old and they done did all kind of wicked stuff. And now that now, now they're feeling bad about all the stuff they did, but now they want to get right with the Lord. You're supposed to do it while you're a young man. Don't wait till trouble hits you. Yeah. Don't wait till something bad happens to you. Now is the time. Now is the time. Because you see all the signs around you, bad things is happening. That's why you go in the churches. A lot of the churches attack with a bunch of old people. You know what I mean? Right now. The Lord's looking for young men. That's right. That's right. Uh, Psalms 119 and 9. Greg Rifto shot a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. There you go. Evil times is coming. Evil times is coming. Night of the Living Dead is coming. Y'all see, see those zombie movies? That's coming. You know, that's what we, that's, they put it in the movies before purpose. You know, it's in those movies because it's a reality. They got many ways how they can make uh, people into zombies. What the, the Russians got a, the Russians got a gun. It fries your brain. Yeah, they turn you into an instant zombie. Ah! Huh? Y'all see on the news, the last couple well, of years, oh, yeah. people in Florida get it's that drug they got called Flocka. You see that? They, they take that Flocka and they just start bugging out. Six it, it, makes you, it makes you lose your mind. You know what I mean? That's going to be a reality. It's going to be everywhere. People are going to get so bad, you're going to have to keep up. They're going to come in your homes, kick the doors down, come in the windows. It ain't all. It ain't going to just be zombies. It's going to be, uh, I mean, it's going to be killers out here. You see how many prisons in America? There's over, what, two million people locked up in America? Shit, probably more than that. Yeah, those prison doors gonna open and all those people gonna be in the streets. America got more prisons than the rest of the world combined. Ooh. But it's the land of the free, right? Uh, and it makes perfect sense. And I wonder if that prison is including the county jails. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, no, nah, because that's not even technically prison because, right. Right. you know what I mean? That's just like a holding area. Right. An entertainment center. Like them prisons are like whole cities. One, one prison is like a self-sustaining city. They got farms and everything on this prison. Yeah, slave labor. Yeah, slave, slave labor. labor. Yeah. They getting free slave labor in the prison. Hey, oh. get uh, Revelation 2 and 10. And everybody's in prison for some bullshit too. Little bullshit ass charges. Get locked up for receiving stolen property or something. You know, like this dumb ass shit. Like you didn't even know it was stolen, you know what I mean? Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things right. which thou shalt suffer. Yeah. Go, the devil shall cast some of, uh, some of you into prison, that you may be tried, and you shall have tribulation 10 days. Right, so the, the Bible says the devil, the devil, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So who's casting people into prison? There's the devil, but who is the devil? It's Esau. He's the one that built all these prisons. America was founded as a damn, uh, pretty much a prison. Because you know, when America was first founded, check this out. It was, you had something called debtor's prison. Back in the, uh, back in the United Kingdom, what do you want to call it, the British Empire or whatever? They had courts, and they got this movie you can watch too, it's called Seahawk. It's an old movie, it's got that, uh, famous actor that did all them uh, pirate movies. Uh, shit, what's his name? He played Robin Hood. Shit, I can't remember his name. Like, old actor. He, uh, he started with me or something. I can't remember. Just look up Google the movie Seahawk. It's black and white, old as hell. But they go into the movie and they show you the, 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 the debtor's prison and, and they show you the, the trials that they was having in England. So if you owe somebody a debt or whatever, if you couldn't pay your debt, they will lock your ass up 
and send your ass over to the Americas and put your ass right on a plantation. You know what I mean? So what was my point I had for that? I can't remember. Oh yeah, it's a prison, yeah. And, and they break, because when America was first established too, they, I think I believe they passed laws saying you want a lot to have debtors prison, but they brought it back anyway. That's why if you don't pay your taxes, they'll lock you up. Like look what happened to uh, Wesley Snipes. He got, did he get locked up, didn't he? Oh, uh, uh, my girl, yeah, Lauren Hill. She got locked up. I don't, I think they got Willie Nelson. Yeah, well, Willie Nelson hate the government. Boy. I don't think he did time. Though. No, I don't think he did time. He was out there protesting the, uh, protesting the, uh, that, that oil pipeline that he tried to run through the Lakota's land. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was a, another actress got arrested that place. Oh, yeah? I don't know if he got arrested. I know the actress and the woman got arrested. Yeah, that's some fucked up shit they doing. They up there yeah, running all the, because it's going to contaminate all their drinking water and everything. Oh, that's crazy, yeah. You know what I mean? Taking away some of the farmland and all that. It's like they done took all the, the land from them. The little bit of land they had left, they was trying to pollute it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Damn devils, man. Yeah, there was a major gas and oil leak this past week, too, man. Here in America. Man. Oh, yeah, i seen that. Here in America. Major, major. You can't and get all... They make it very light of it on the news, man. It takes years and years and years to get that oil to clean it up out of the water. <laughs> like they had that giant oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Was that back in, like, 2011 or something? That was some shit. And they, it, it still ain't recovered. And they had that camera down there near the leak. And then that oil was flowing 24 hours a day. Yeah, for a long it's time. pouring out that motherfucker. And they had a camera and just, you can just view the oil getting there. And Russia was trying to do this shit, man. If you remember, Russia was trying to tell them how to fix it and they didn't want to listen. Yeah, Russia told them to nuke it. He said, you got to nuke it. Yeah. It's the only way you can stop it. And they didn't want to listen. And I still don't think they stopped it, bro. No, nah, it's probably still. I heard people that live down there say, you can't go on the beach. Yeah. That's good, though. Because all that, uh, I saw the documentary about a lot of the uh, million dollar homes that the coast and how they're buying it. One minute the house is worth $1.5, yeah. $2 million, now it's worth like 30000 or less. Because everybody's looking to live on the water. <laughs> That's dumb as hell to begin with. I don't I don't want to put all that money, invest all that money to live by some water so your shit can get destroyed. One hurricane, one hurricane or tidal wave, you out of there. And all your belongings and all your... Uh, you see what Matthews did to for some shit up. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of oh, footage on that. Oh, this is crazy. A black woman on, on the internet, man, talking about the, that scripture of Matthews. That's part of the scriptures of book of that Hurricane Matthew. And she, <laughs> she broke it down and everything, and I, I was lost. That's hilarious. <laughs> I was lost. <laughs> that just gave me a headache. I was uh. trying to get some understanding from her video how she, she actually linked the, the Hurricane Matthews in the scriptures, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> Board, they probably like, yeah, I was on my tablet. No, uh, I was on my phone. I was uh, on my phone because my phone. I can't. Yeah. I can't. I gotta read the comments on that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. know they be withered. She's like, oh yeah, yeah. sister, preach on. Amen. Amen, sister. She linked up. She linked that. She actually linked the hurricane Matthews in the scripture. Just because it was called Matthew. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. people. Crazy. Our people are crazy as hell, man. They just crazy as hell, man. They just <laughs> think they on a, some kind of deep level, man. Yeah. They never studied a day in their life, but they gonna break the Bible down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, you know, to even go up, to even. First of all, the Lord's gotta be dealing with you to, to break down these scriptures, but it takes a lifetime of dedication, bro. To be able to break these scriptures down, you know what I mean? Like, take, take a lot of work, man. Like when you're reading the Book of Kings and reading about the kings, or when you're reading the book, don't even talk about the Book of Revelation. Don't go there. They, that's well, the they first book. Literally, they don't go there. Well, <laughs> well, a lot of people though, they they like to they give you these bugged out breakdowns. You know what I mean? And, they don't. They don't know any of the history of the Roman Empire, but they're gonna break down Revelation to me. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I said the scripture says, "Oh, 
they believe that his, uh, his name is Bond, which is the Antichrist, he's gonna get shot in the head. He's gonna be alive and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be fucking on Well, the Antichrist, he's gonna, they, they say he's gonna rise out the sea with the beast. Yeah. They think the beast is actually gonna come out the ocean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be Obama riding on a Godzilla. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah, Romans 11. I mean, cause they, they they believe in it, they just don't understand it. You know what I mean? They know this book's the truth, but they just they ain't got no knowledge. And while you get that, I'm gonna get a precept. You're a I know, I hate that. I can't believe I used to smoke. The nasty shit on the planet. Titus is after Timothy. All the T's are together, that's how I remember it. You got that? Or Romans 11 or 10, one of the two. It should be right at the top. Yeah, that's it, 10. Oh, 10, I was off. This is 10 and one. Brother, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. <laughs> So our people, that's our people though, right? They love to, they love this and Jeebus. You know what I mean? They love, they, they got that big, they got the nicest Bible you ever seen, bro. They spent some money on that Bible they got on the copy table. But they, they ain't read it though. They can't even read, they'll start reading, they'll fall asleep. You go to your grandma's house, bro, she got praying hands. She got the she got the Last Supper on the wall. She got the Ten Commandments. She got little prayers, little statues, Caesar Bozier statues, Queen of Heaven, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King. She got, oh, they got Obama plates now and statues. They sure do. They got the commemorator of plates, number one of five thousand. You know, man, they're they gonna be worth money one day. That house is decked out, bro. They don't know no scripture. John 3.16? Oh, they know John 3.16. They don't even know that. Got that. <laughs> oh, no, they got it. They found it. They know where it's at. It's highlighted. Yeah, they got a bookmarker in it. They got a bookmarker. Page is just open to Yeah. Yeah, because they, they like to keep that Bible open on a certain page. That's how my mom used to do it. We, used to, we had that, man, she had a gigantic Bible. I wish we still had that Bible. It had some bad pictures in it. It was a nice Bible. I used to read I was the only one that read it. You know what I mean? I used to be reading it, bro. I was like, wow, this book is crazy. I was reading it. I didn't understand nothing. Until I had uh, the minute the Lord teach me. But look, I got a scripture. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word. I'm going to wait till I can't say can't hear nothing. 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study. I know that's a hard word. I would, nobody likes that word study. But, oh, no, I ain't studying shit. You know, that's how they be. Just give me the study. I ain't study. Yeah, I ain't studying nothing. That's a word our people don't know is study. People be asking me about like, what you doing. Like, I talk to a girl or whatever on the phone. She's like, what you doing? Don't tell her that you studying. She's going to look at you like you're crazy. You know what I mean? So I made that man. I'm studying. I'm like, studying. This is your, what are you, some kind of weirdo or something? You're studying? Something wrong with you? You know what I mean? They look at you like you're crazy. First Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself to prove unto the Most High. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. What's all this loud ass shit, man? Let me keep going. 
but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Have we done heard our fair share of profane and vain babblings out here? You know what I mean? We done heard it all, bro. I ain't gonna say that, because I take that back. I, you say you heard it all. You gonna hear that new shit. Like last week, your boy said to, uh, told us that a woman could impregnate herself. He, he said, I asked him, because he said he worshiped Osiris. And I said, Osiris don't have a penis. What does that represent? He said it represents the woman don't need a man. She can impregnate herself. And then she impregnates herself through the barfling gland. How bugged out, profane, vain babblings is that, bro? And if you believe that, man, you, you just some you whacked in the head. Let me you know? go back to, let me finish this up. It's almost 10. I'm just going to start back at 2. For I bear with them record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness, they going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the most high. Right. Every day, I'm sorry, I got distracted by a heathen. You're <laughs> right. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going after, going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of the Most High. Yeah, because that's what they do, because they don't want to listen to what's actually written. They want to be like, well, my interpretation, the way I see it, or what I believe in my heart, that's not the way it's supposed to be. What's up, homie? How you doing? Yeah. Yep. My dude. Huh? What happened? Oh, I didn't see. Okay. No, I know that guy. <laughs> he got me double. Oh, you got some alcohol pads? Is that your Peter? Two? Is that your Peter? Three? Sixteen? As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of things, of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Yeah, a lot of things are hard to be understood. That's why you get. That's why you gotta have uh, quality teachers. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as as they do also the other scriptures into their own destruction. Yep. Because a lot of things are hard to understand, and you can't. A lot of scriptures might take five hours to break it down properly. It takes a lot of study and a lot of researching. That's another word our people don't like is research. They don't like the word study and research. You know what I mean? You got you got to study. You got to put in work, man. Then the funny thing is, the most I made it so easy to go from etymology dictionary, go to the Bible. With all that technology we got. Right, right. With this technology we got, man, all the knowledge in the world is just right at your fingertips on the internet. You can just, with the power of Google, just mind boggling. But you can just learn with just Google. And you can, right. you, you right. can learn anything about world history just by typing it into Google. That's right. But, but, but uh, 2,000 years ago, you would have had to travel 2,000 miles to Alexandria in Egypt to go to the Great Library. To, to, and and, and you'd you be lucky if they had the book you was looking for. You know what I mean? Just think about that. Just to get one, one history book back in the day, was super expensive. Because remember, they wrote everything on parchment or scrolls, right? You know how much one of them scrolls was? It was very expensive. You know how long it took to copy a scripture? How long do you think it takes to copy by hand the book of Genesis just by itself? That takes a long time. That could take a month. Well, it depends on how good the scribe was, you know? With a good scribe, you might get it done in a week. You know what I mean? If you, it depends. If you could be working a lot of long hour days, it takes a long time to copy these by hand, you know what I mean? But nowadays, we got all this knowledge right at the tip of our fingers. And our people, they don't take advantage of it. Instead, they use the internet for Facebook and to commit adultery. That's what they use it for. And to watch uh, homie fights, or watch world star hip hop. Oh, or yeah. watch cat, oh, porn, don't forget porn. That's a big one. That's, a, that's what they really use the internet for. That's a big one. These niggas in the hood loving their pit bulls now. That just came out of nowhere. That's right. These niggas in the hood love their pit bulls, man. They love to keep it as a pet. That's disturbing. They're phony. 
Ooh. And it's increasing more and more now. That's very disturbing. Yeah, that's disturbing. Fucking Ooh. pit bull. Oh. It's spirit. It's all of a spirit. Boom. Just the thought of it. Make it clear. Mm. Mm. Thessalonians. Thessalonians. That's from the church that was in Thessaly. It says that ye be like that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we have commanded. That you may walk honestly toward them that are without and that you may have lack of nothing. Yeah, read that again. I didn't. I wasn't paying. First Thessalonians 4 and 11. And that you study to be quiet, to do your own business, and to work with your own hands. As we commend you, that you may walk honestly to a young that are about, and that you may have a lack of nothing. Yeah, lack of nothing. And we, are, we don't have a lack of anything. All we need is our daily bread, enough food to get by on, enough money just to barely pay the bills or whatever. We're good. That's all you need to sustain yourself. Because really, the, hey, I got a scripture. What really sustains you is this knowledge. This is Luke 24 and 44. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in Psalms. Yeah, because the Lord prophesied all through the Old Testament. They, they knew the Lord was coming thousands of years. Well, maybe not thousands. Hey, it probably was thousands, going all the way back since the beginning. You know what I mean? Because Moses lived like what? 1,400 years before the Lord was born, something roughly. roughly and, he, and he prophesied about the Lord coming. David lived a thousand years before the Lord. And then the Lord himself was called what? The son of David. He lived a thousand. That's a, a thousand years. A thousand. So by the time the Lord was born and walking around, King David, they would have said that was the ancient world. Think about that. Two thousand years since he left. Yep. Two thousand. Which really ain't nothing, actually. Yeah, in the eyes of the Lord, it's like a couple of days. Because people be like thinking like 2,000 years is a long time or something. 2,000 years ain't shit. Back in, the, back in the beginning of time, people used to live to be a, damn near 1,000 years old. Yeah, Methuselah, how, how old was he? I forget the exact number real quick. That's like just two, hey, 2,000 years is two generations of people. That's, you know, well, we're back going back to the old school, when people lived to be 900 years old. 2,000 years was just a couple generations. That's crazy, isn't it? That's, that's how deep the, the, the script is. Look. <laughs> we are here to blow your mind. Here we go. <laughs> Where was this off? Oh, my body, this one's different. Hold up. Oh, oh, just real quick. Medusa lived to be uh, nine. He lived to be nine hundred and sixty-nine. Damn, that's a long, long time. So John five and thirty-nine. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures for them. For uh, them, you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Yeah, search the scriptures. Hey, that's going back to the technology, too. We really be searching the scriptures now. We got the search engines, you know what I mean? All the different programming languages that allow us. To search the Bible with a computer, bro. How you going from getting from one language to another? How do you do that to get the videos? Is it just a button you push? 
Oh, you talking about the closed captions and all that? Oh, that's all it is. Oh, yeah. The CC thing. Okay, I always do. It, yeah, it, it, sometimes it works better than others. I got hey, you never, because the Lord could bless us with a, a brother from Saudi Arabia come, could come out here and he could translate videos or what, or he just go just teaching Arabic. Oh, brother, that's good. Serious? Well, that's Arabic, ain't it? Damn near. They probably got different dialects or whatever. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, it sure is. I think one eye is French. And we was talking to that one brother from Saudi Arabia one day. He was really, he had, he kept asking questions. He was really into it, wasn't he? We were down on campus. Right. So we, I mean, you just never know what happened. We don't know what happened to that guy. You told me one of the other guys. Yeah, down on campus, he was from Saudi Arabia, and he followed his home, like, we was going, he couldn't oh, leave. Oh, you talking about, you know, I think it was something else. He, he, he didn't want to leave, I remember? that when he followed, he followed. He just kept, he wanted to know more and more, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? He was pretty cool, too. Yeah, he was cool as hell. Yep. You know, other camps, uh, IUIC would have told him that he was a heathen and he was going into slavery, you know? They, they don't, they don't understand the scriptures. Yeah, the spirit ain't dealing with them. They ain't got no spiritual, uh, what do you call that? They ain't got no kind of spirit. <laughs> hey, let's get that scripture. Get that John, the spirit, the different gifts, the spirit. John, what's that, John 4? First John, I think is a 4. Everybody know you the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai is coming in the flesh. There you go. God. Yeah, any spirit that testifies that Yahweh Shai is coming in the flesh. You know, and they believe with all their heart. You know that? That's an Israelite right there. And that's all the proof you need. It is not going off appearance. You know what I mean? We didn't ask to see his genealogy and go get a DNA test. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nowhere in the scriptures to go tell you to get a DNA test. Go to the devil to get a DNA test. You want to ask the devil who the Israelites? What kind of sense does that make? Because you know that science they got. You know, you know there's probably all kind of flaws in it. That's why when they genetically modified the uh, that corn and fed it to the uh, uh, lab mice, the, the mice developed tumors the size of fucking baseball. So you're gonna say he mastered it, right? He's a master. No. He's a master of wickedness. You know what I mean? That's what they found. They found people eating food and grow tumors. That's yeah, what get, they wanted. Yeah, that GMO makes you sick. That's exactly what they wanted. They don't fully understand the DNA and all that. Because they said 90% of DNA is junk. They don't understand they don't it. They don't understand it. They don't understand it. They junk. They just don't understand it. They don't understand it. <laughs> and they tell you they don't understand it. So how are you supposed to go get DNA tests? They can, they can manipulate. I seen your boy Sakari on YouTube bragging about his DNA test. He said, I, that tells you he ain't got no faith. <laughs> you know what I mean? They don't have a large enough DNA pool of everyone's samples to even know what the hell's going on anyway. There's only a handful of people only got the test. They don't know what people, who is who. That's what Esau's trying to figure out. You know what I mean? I heard some people say that they were secretly taking samples of babies when they're born. They don't secretly do it, they just do it. Yep. Is there more than that? Yeah, history, I love John. What's up? Uh, every spirit that confesses not you have a shot to come in the flesh is not of the most side. Right. This you're right, so anybody up here saying yeah, how Shai didn't come in the flesh, he's not the son of God, he's not the Messiah, we know you're the devil. Go ahead. This is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it shall come, even now already is it in the world. That's a heavy vibration, the, the, the vibration of the spirit of an Antichrist. And that, that's the spirit that rules America. It actually rules the whole planet. 
is the spirit of the Antichrist. And the Antichrist is numerous. It's not just one Antichrist. There's billions of them. Go ahead. I didn't say millions, I said billions. Ye are the most highly chosen to have overcome them. Gradient, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. Oh, this is like your boy last week. Remember he came up here? Because people will come, because if somebody comes up here scoffing, talking shit, they don't have any knowledge, they don't have any truth. You know, they're uneducated. They don't know basic, you know, facts, basic history. But but the, all the rest of the people in the world is just like them. They're, they're going to take sides with this. You know what I mean? And read that again. It's just like the scripture says. Hold on, let this bus go. That's a beautiful scripture right there. That, yeah, go ahead. I think, are they pulling up or they leaving? Yeah, go ahead, just read it. it ain't right, bro. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. 